Welcome back to another series and in this one we're going to be talking about how we can build a API driven application for the first time. In the first Django series I did I talked about how we use the Django templating and we sort of powered our front end through that but instead what a lot of web applications do is they build what's called a JSON API and then they'll build the front end in something else. Generally speaking it's going to be some sort of JavaScript library. Uh, so what we're going to do is a very simple version of that, we're just going to do a to-do list application that uses AngularJS for the front end, but it's going to be very basic, so if you're not too familiar with Angular, we're not going to spend too much time on that. It's going to be a very sort of small application as a to-do list is sort of uh, a good example of what you can possibly do without having to know too much about Angular itself. And on the back end, we're going to store the results in a database powered by a JSON API, which we're going to use the Django REST framework to be able to build. Although this is actually going to be an example of a full stack web application, which means that it's going to go right from the back end technologies all the way through to the front end, it is going to be a very small project, which means that it, uh, we should consider that when we're trying to structure our Django project as well. Now to get started, what I want to do is create that Django project, but just to let you know about my environment, I'm currently using uh, a virtual environment, so that's where I'm going to be installing my dependencies into. At the moment if I do pip list, you can see that I've just got Django installed as well as the other defaults when I uh, create my virtual environment. I use virtual env wrapper, but you don't have to, you can use whatever you want. Uh, now, to actually create the Django project, all I'm going to do is I want to put it in a new folder called to do. I'm going to keep it consistent uh, with the name of my virtual environment here. So I'm just going to do Django admin uh, start project and I'm just going to say to do. So that'll be the name of the application. If I see, we have tutorial here, which is for the existing Django series. If you haven't seen that, that'll go through the basics if you're less familiar with Django. Uh, but in this one we're going to carry on and go into the new folder that we created called to-do. Uh, now I have already installed Django but what I want to do is uh, well firstly if you haven't installed Django you'll need to do pip install Django to make sure you've got it in your virtual environment. What I want to do is I want to create a list of requirements so I'm going to create a folder that I can put them in in case I want to split them out into the future. Uh, to do that I'm just going to do make the and I'm going to call it requirements uh, and that will contain uh, all the files for the requirements if I choose to split them out in the future. And all I want to put in that is that list of requirements. So if I do pip freeze, uh, you can see that gives us a list of requirements in the format that they are supposed to be in, in the requirements file, so that they can be easily read back into the, to a new environment if we want to rebuild it. Uh, so to save it into that file, I want to do pip freeze and then I'm going to do the little greater than sign or an arrow pointing to the file called requirements uh, and I'm going to put this in a file called base.txt. Uh, so those dependencies should be in, in my environment no matter whether it's development or production. Now that I've got that I'm going to do django admin run server to see if everything is working so far and at the moment because I'm using django admin I need to set my django settings module uh, so I'm going to do export Django settings module is equal to to do so the name of my project dot settings and that should point to the default settings file that was created when we used the start project management command to be able to create that default file structure uh, so that's just going to point our default settings which if we do ls to do uh, you can see that there, there is a settings file that has been created for us when we ran that start project command uh, so now if we do django admin run server we should be able to see it run successfully. So now you can see we're using the latest version of Django which at the time of filming is 1.11.2 uh, I installed that just before I started filming so it's uh, pretty much up to date and it's reading from the Django settings module to do dot settings. Uh, so that all looks good I'm just going to go ahead and check that in the web browser to make sure that we do get that standard Django uh, template that you get with every project assuming you started it in the same way that we did. That's great that we're all set up and running now so we can carry on with getting the template set up and uh, then hook up the database. 